Hey, this is Ivan, and uh, the topic of today video is uh, just do it. I'm going to work. So, I've been struggling with my subscribers. So, uh, if you are in this channel, tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's one of the ways for you to just do it. Uh, another thing, if you listen to this channel and if you see some things that are good, yeah, just please subscribe. And I have some uh, thing to say here. I don't need too many subscribers. Uh, actually, I need only 100 subscribers. I think I did a video like this, what I need here from this channel. I only need uh, 100 subscribers. That's like uh, for because of the YouTube policy, right? So uh, the reality is that I only need 100 subscribers and actually I have 57 for, I need 43 more subscribers. And of course, I will need like probably 60 or 70 because one of the my one of the 57 subscribers I have right now, I would probably do not need them. So they're gonna uh, they're gonna quit on my channel. They will unsubscribe because I will <laughs> I will say some things that will offend them. So, but that's I don't need these people anyway. So, if you are one of these subscribers already subscribers that um, do not like what I'm saying, uh, get the hell out. You know, that channel is not for you. That's a crazy channel, right? So, uh, but but if you if you have some friend, uh, tell them about this channel. Also, uh, I was watching one uh, video today uh, about uh, the topic like of just do it. Just do it. It's a very powerful um, statement. Nike uses this just do it to sell shoes. You know, that's why they are number one in the world selling shoes, uh, sports shoes. Yeah, Nike. Uh, I don't wear Nike today, but <laughs> but uh, just do it. It's a very powerful suggestion. Uh, so if you like whatever I say, just do it. So now I'm going to make like a, a little bit of motivational video for you guys to on the topic. I just watched a video about one guy who was uh, talking about procrastination, very smart person. So I'm going to try to summarize this uh, things for the inner inner demons that stop us from doing some of the things and most of the time these are the right things if you want to be successful in anything you do and i don't even have a uh, the slightest idea of what successful is i actually have like a little bit slight idea of what successful is so i'm gonna tell you what successful is for me i want to do whenever i want to do i don't want to work for money i want to have very healthy relationships with people so now let's prioritize these things. First of all, relationships. For many years of my life, I did not have these relationships, but now I have those relationships, so they are good. So number one, relationships with other people. I mean, not with your girlfriend, not with your boyfriend, not with your people, not with the business people. I mean, overall, with everybody. Very good relationships, number one. Uh, good relationships. Two. Uh, for, for to obtain that, you have to be a person of essence, like uh, uh, do what you preach. It's a good thing from the, I don't know where, maybe the Bible or uh, from, the, <laughs> from, the, from the Bible people or the church people. Say, so they say, uh, do what you preach. In other words, be a person of integrity. To build a good relationships, you have to scrape all the bullshits, you have to take out the bullshits and have to be straightforward, you know. Sometimes, sometimes being straightforward hurts a lot of people. Sometimes they look at you and like, what? You know, not good idea. However, that's the number one thing. To be successful, you have to have a very good relationships with all the people. All the people that you want to have the relationships, not with all the world. Now, there is a tendency now, people look at some... Uh, Facebook page or uh, Instagram, Snapchat or whatever. And they say, oh my God, this guy has like 16 million hits. Like, therefore, he must be something. Well, now let's see the other side of the flip coin. Uh, me, personally, I don't like people with 16 million views. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with that. I'm asking, who are these 16 million? So, in other words, if I have a, a, a channel that has 16 million views per per video for me <laughs> personally for me <laughs> yes i'm doing something wrong uh, so well in, in this case we can use the 
the, the observation of one of my uh, people that I follow and he say when uh, well when you have too many followers it's time for you to get out you know having too many followers puts you in the in the in the area that you are talking a lot of shit to actually be liked from the majority the majority the matrix right so I don't like to be I don't like to be liked by the majority so that is another thing to be successful you don't have to be in the majority as one of my mentors say leave the 95% leave the 95% follow the 5% so I'm following the 5% of the people in the world uh, now relationships very important then uh, another thing to be successful is like my prime goal and I give it to you I do whatever I want to do but not in a bad way like for example if I don't like to work I don't go to work you know I have this freedom now uh, if I want to work this I get to choose what to work for the last 17 years myself I've mastered a few things that I can make a decent living but I purposely reject to do it I can go do spray paint yes I can do pedicab I can do uber driver I can do like these are little things little skills and jobs that I have I can go on the street and take pictures of people make two three hundred dollars yes I can do that in all of these I can make like some decent living not too much money two hundred dollars three hundred five hundred dollars a day but I can do it but I uh, force myself not to do it if I'm gonna be doing it I'm gonna be doing it for like uh, one or two days a week and I'm gonna do whatever I want to do so now that's uh, number two point number two point is do get yourself in a position not to depend on other people not to depend on your job like in the in the entrepreneur environment they say be your own boss well that's kind of a <laughs> tough job to be your own boss you have to have bunch of skills to apply yourself in multiple jobs like for example if you're good at marketing yes you can work for five six companies and then you can choose the companies that you are working for you are still working for somebody you are still getting paid proportion of your value but uh, the reality is now you can choose you come from a place of strength and you come from a place of uh, of power not from the place of weakness you know if i have to choose a customer to work with I have the power to choose the customers I actually have the power to choose my customers there are some customers they have a lot of money they have a lot of wealth but I don't want to work with them so that's uh, number two choose to do whatever you like to do at the time that you like to do I don't want to be forced to do this or that activity so uh, that is called successful uh, for me for me just for me not for everybody but for me uh, healthy relationship very good relationship respect from the community the society uh, the people that I like not all of them not the whole society you know not everybody likes uh, uh, Obama not everybody likes uh, Hillary Clinton not everybody likes Donald Trump and that's the normal thing right uh, uh, so not everybody likes Jesus some people think like Jesus uh, yeah yeah and that is okay so now one two healthy relationships to do whatever you want to do at the time that you want to do so that is success so now let's talk about this motivational video that I'm about to say why why sometimes we procrastinate and do not do it this is a reflection of this guy that I just uh, uh, listened and that's a good video I'm gonna give it to you he says he says that there are a few inner demons like uh, <laughs> and he actually structured them these inner demons and give like very very good examples why we are not doing the things we are doing like Tony Robbins on the other hand is saying I want to study what makes people tick why they do the things they do powerful speech of Tony Robbins you can find him in TED this speech is just the opposite this this uh, little video that I'm doing here is just the opposite why we why I and why you are not doing the things that we actually are supposed to do you know the their so-called the <laughs> the hard and necessary things versus the easy and the uh, and the easy okay uh, unnecessary and easy we tend we tend to to do the easy things and that is fine because we are actually creatures of habits and uh, creatures that do not want to expand energy it's just the human nature to be lazy 
to be innovative. Now, there is a very close relationship between lazy people and innovators. For example, <laughs> back in my own country, back in my own country, in Bulgaria, there is a slogan that it say, ask the lazy person to teach you how to work. There is some wisdom on that, you know, because the lazy person, he does not want to do all the work. He wants some shortcuts, he wants some, uh, some you know, and they are good shortcuts. I mean, not like those shortcuts that, oh, we don't have to do it, but rather how to do the things easier and more efficiently and, and better. And that's where all the innovation comes from. The old innovation does not come from some hard-working people that you think like, yes, they've been there, yeah. They've been working hard, but on themselves. You know, they've been working hard on themselves. That's another concept here we can discuss. Uh, uh, these successful people, these innovators, they have been working hard on themselves. If they have a good idea, they pursue with their idea. They bring the idea to many people. They say, oh, I invented the electricity. Uh, yes, uh, some people like, oh, I have invented the motor, like uh, Michael Faraday. It's a good uh, story, a good history, how this poor person was persisting, persisting, and he got denied, 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 and, and Giordano Bruno as well. He was denied, 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 and hope, but perseverance, perseverance, get them. So they was working, these people, like these innovators, they was working very hard on themselves and on their ideas. But uh, they invented shortcuts that bring us here in the 21st century. We use electricity, we use good stuff, we use communications, we use cell phone. Like for example, how powerful is what I'm doing right now? Like extremely powerful. One little guy with a cell phone can bring a message across to thousands of people. Hundreds, thousands, it doesn't matter. 57 subscribers, it doesn't matter. Hundreds, I need the good ones. So now. Uh, this guy was saying, let, let me get back to the why we are not doing, why we are procrastinating, why we procrastinate the stuff we do. And he said they are like so-called inner demons. Like one is called the, 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 the perfectionist. Yeah, the perfectionist always wants to do it perfect, so he never does it. You know, how to do these things. Okay, if I don't do it perfectly, I don't have to do it. Boom, automatic failure. Then the other one is called the bullshit makers it's like a person in your head that's always find these excuses why not to do the things that you or me have to do now now uh i don't have this kind of characters in my head you know like if i want to do it i have to do it that's that's the basic thing i can state for myself that i do the things that i like to do the time that i like to do and this is a good mindset i used to have these uh inner demons but i'm working on myself i'm working on myself very hard to not do and the fact that I just listened to this guy and I'm reflecting on this video is a fact. I don't care about the other people's opinions, what they're going to be thinking of me. That's another bullshitter in your head. What other people think with me will think of me. Like when I do these videos, I never... You, if, you, if you watch the videos, you will see my style. I don't really care too much. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck about what people will think about too much. And that's why the videos are coming... Uh, rather okay you know not not like perfect perfect but but i'm doing it so i want to give you this like uh number one the procrastinator inner demon the perfectionist number two the bullshit maker and excuse number three what the the you are a slave of other people's opinion do not be a slave of other people's opinion because successful people would rather tell you other people don't give a shit about you. Not you think they give a shit about what you think, but it's in reality, they don't care. All people do care about is what they think, what they are supposed to say, what they are about to say. You know, they want to listen their own voice. Like, I want to listen my own voice now. Yes, you can see, I want to listen my voice. That's why I'm doing the video. Correct? So, three of these procrastinators, demons, you know, like the perfectionist. Oh, it's got to be perfect. Number two, uh, the bullshit maker, excuse producing little guy in your head like, oh, but uh, what is this is not right for the, <laughs> for example, for the environment. <laughs> the way you think may be wrong for the environment. Yes, for example, for example, I want to give you like a direct thing, how I think about the environment. Yesterday I went in the deli and I, I ordered four copies and quickly by automatic response, the guy wants to give me a paper bag. So I say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, save this paper bag. You know, this is how I think about the environment. Uh, I don't want to spare this paper bag. You know why? Because I know that I'm going to take these coffees like 
15 feet away and I'm going to give it to four people uh, in my team. And why do I need the paper then? You know, but most people will, will just, okay, wait a minute. The way you think saves the environment. I don't want to throw a paper back for 15 steps when I can take four coffees in my hand. Is it that hard? No, it's not that hard. Correct? So, uh, let's re re repeat this. Uh, so, the repetition is the mother of the, <laughs> of the good thinking. Uh, let's repeat these things. Uh, procrastination. Why we procrastinate? Number one, the perfectionist. Number two, the bullshit maker excuse in your head. This like, and the number three, the most important, like what other people will think of me kind of guy, you know, in your head. But what if I do it wrong? What if it's not the... Uh, we, we make up these excuses why we don't do the things we do. And that stopped us. Now, for this thing, for this thing to overcome, there is one simple statement. It's a very powerful suggestion. It's a, just do it now, just do it now, just do it now. Now, I'm going to make another video about this, just do it now. What I mean, what I mean, I'm now going to go in depth. What does that mean? Just do it now. Do it now means decide, decide. You don't have to necessarily do all the steps after, but you just have to decide. Uh, decision is one of the most powerful things in the human kind of, uh, you know, animal. The day that you decide is the day that will open your future. That's, that's how it is. The day you decide, it's, it can change. But some people don't want to change. So now, let's see who's on the phone here. Oh, okay, I have to pick up the phone and I will close the video. So just do it now. If you did not subscribe, subscribe, okay?